Hello and welcome to Tabletop Odyssey. My name is Jay and today a little bit of a strange video. I'm going to be looking at uh, the like dice statistics for uh, Star Wars Legion um, and I'm going to do that via a spreadsheet. Now I love me some spreadsheets but I can appreciate it uh, may not be for everybody uh, but if you do want to get a hold of this spreadsheet yourself I'll try and put a link uh, below in the description. That, I don't know if that makes sense it sounds like it might have done and uh, yeah let's I'll show you what I've done and you know you can determine if it's any interest for yourself <laughs> so let's go let's let me swap this uh, I need to swap my thing in OBS swish see that nailed it um so the first thing we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the attack dice right the attack dice have got eight sides and they it's a d8 um but obviously they've got um, different results. Now let's look, run through the kinds of different results that you can have on an attacking one. You've got your crit. Crits ignore cover. They also can only damage vehicles. Like I think normal hits can damage vehicles. Uh, the rules are at 100%, so don't like quote me on this. Uh, a hit is just a normal hit. A surge uh, depends on if you've got a conversion. Uh, some surges on the offensive will probably turn to hit and some will turn to a crit. And blank, that does nothing. So uh, on the white dice you've got, uh, which is the worst, the worst dice, you've got uh, one crit, one hit, one surge, five blanks. So you can appreciate that's not particularly great. <laughs> um, on the black dice you've got one crit, three hits, one surge, three blanks. The middle of the road dice. And the red one, which is the best, is uh, one crit, five hits, one surge and one blank. So if we put that as like a, a percentage, I haven't actually put the percentage sign on here, but um, th th these are percentages. I... <laughs> ah, not not like that. Let me undo, undo. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah. The white die, I mean, because there's only one crit and one surge on pretty much every dice, the odds of getting that is the same no matter what. Um, it's always going to be, well, on a D8, it's 12.5%. So it's the same for the crit, same for the surge for that. Um, it only really changes when it comes to the hits. Now on the hits, obviously, um, when you've got one, it's 12.5, and then it's just multiples of that, basically. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that's that. So if you're just uh, going to include hit and crit um, and count that as just a, you know, a one, like, a, a damage, shall we say, then you'll see that the white one has a 25% chance of getting one of those. A black one 50% and a red one 75%. So you can sort of see there is a nice little pattern with that. Um, and if we look at what that would actually mean um, if you roll several dice, then we'll see here. So like four white dice equals two black dice. Um, and three um, white dice equals one red dice. So it's basically like a third. So like the black one is uh, double the white one and the red one is triple the white one so the the black one the red one is a third better than the black one i guess um yeah it, i just wanted to see like how many dice equal another dice and though you can quite plainly see it like eight white dice equal two black dice yeah and that's that makes sense these are just uh, like it's counting a crit and a hit as the same obviously crits and hits um do different things slightly but um, I didn't want to get too complicated on this one. If you do want to see the split of each one, then I do have this here. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, just a chance of getting a hit with that many dice. Um, just a chance of getting a crit with that many dice. So you can see that's pretty much the same for the white dice. Um, oh, I haven't done the total there. Oh, oh, and I've deleted my formulas because it was lagging my computer. Whatever, I'll, I'll fill that in on the other one. Um, this is a, a white hit chance if surge is to hit. Um, now, obviously, I haven't changed it to surge to crit, but it would pretty much be the same. Um, this is total hits with a white dice if you include um, if surge is to hit, and it then includes the crits, <laughs> which is basically the same as that figure there. But I just just in case anybody really wants to have a proper look at this and be like, ah, oh, okay. But it's just interesting to see that basically. Um, ignore like because crits and surges are all the, pretty much the same the main difference is just the hits and um, it, as you can see it's like double and then triple with the white dice which is nice it's nice it's a nice little mathematical thing though that I enjoy that's pretty much it for the hits um, I mean I 
I don't want to go too much. Yeah, we will do some example scenarios like at the end, but uh, next we'll move on to the defense dice. The defense dice only have six sides, <laughs> uh, which I like because you can easily tell them apart. That's a, a good thing about that. Um, but because there's less numbers on it, it sort of makes them a bit more random, I guess. Well, not random, but there's more. Each number means more, I guess. <laughs> So let's have a look at what's actually on the dice. Um, there is no black dice right now, and I suspect eventually we might see one because there's a nice little slot that it could fit into here, but maybe not at the start. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe that'll come in. Who knows, who knows? Um, one block for the white dice, one surge, four blanks. Three blocks for the red one, one surge, two blanks. So you can see that's basically three times as good, which is essentially the same difference between the white and the red. For the attack dice, the same transfers over here. However, because the sur because um, a surge is um, you've got sixteen point six six percent chance recurring of getting a surge, uh, as opposed to a twelve point five percent chance of getting a surge on a defensive dice uh, attacking dice. It does actually mean that having a surge conversion on the defensive one to a block is more valuable. It's like more effective to have that. Um, I just want that'll be something that they obviously have to balance uh it, what you know internally making the game kind of thing but just to put that into percentage again 16.6 percent chance of getting a block with a white dice um another 16 percent chance if you've got a surge um result and uh the red one you've got like half you've got 50 percent chance a half chance of getting just a straight up block with a red dice um, and if you've got a surge result, that actually becomes like 66.6% recurring, um, which <laughs> I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, the red dice are obviously far superior. So, um, I mean, yeah, I've done the same sort of conversion here. Um, I'm not expecting any surges that don't just change it to a block. So here I just treat all surges as a, when I say with surge, it's surge to block. I don't know what else there is. I think there's only those two things. Um, if you don't have a surge conversion, it changes it to a blank. So, um, yeah, and yeah, pretty much three times as good. It's it's pretty much the same thing as uh, as we anticipated. Um, not really much more to it than that. I just it's just interesting that they've skipped the black one and they're just going white and red, but they're keeping with the mathematical thing of the red one being three times as good as the white one. It's interesting to note that, um, as I said, surge conversion. Um, you know, more effective on defense. However, I think like due to the nature of the way that you only roll the dice if you get hit um, and the fact that it's a D6 sort of makes it more likely that you're going to get hit. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean later on because uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to do some examples. Um, so here I'm not showing you like the defense here. I'm just showing you Luke's attacks. Now we've got his uh, distance attack. I suppose technically they should be the other way around, but it's too late now. It's too late now. Um, we've got Luke's pistol. Um, on average, when he shoots, and um, I've shown you the crits here, but on average, he'll get 1.25 hits and um, 0.5 crits. So as a total, he'll get 1.75 with his blaster shot because he's got two red dice. And uh, the red dice, as we have seen, are the best dice. Um, so he's got two red dice when he's shooting on his um, melee attack with his lightsaber. This is ignoring, like any special rules here apart from the fact that he's converting uh, surge to crits so that does um, keep that in mind he's converting his surge to crits and um, six black dice well that equals 2.5 hits and 1.5 crits for a total of four damage so he is better in melee um but i think like is it vader who's got like red he might have a six red dice attack so um you're more likely to lose <laughs> that fight but obviously Luke's advantage is that he can still do a fair chunk of damage from distance and uh, Luke's shooting's like better than um like a unit of stormtroopers for example and we'll show that right now um four stormtroopers shooting at four rebel troopers <laughs> but with no aim and no cover so in this game an aim by default lets you re-roll two dice we think um and cover, depending, I think if it's, if it's soft cover, it's one uh, hit removed. And if it's hard cover, I think it's two. Um, but basically, if there's no cover, then the crits don't really matter. So in this case, um, the Stormtroopers have four white dice. The surge equals a hit. Um, that, in, that basically means that they would have got 1.5 hits. Um, on the Rebel side, the surge equals a block. 
so they'll then block 0.5 worth of damage. The average result from that shooting with no aim and no cover is one dead rebel trooper. Which, interesting to note, I guess, if there's no aim, uh, no cover. Uh, next one, if there is aim and there's light cover. So, same thing, they change a surge to a hit. Um, before the reroll, and I'll get onto the reroll in a minute, uh, they get one hit and 0.5 crits. I feel like that's the exact same. Yeah, it is the same as that. Um, Stormtroopers are precise, jokes aside. Precise, um, if you're precise one, it means you get to reroll an extra one dice when you use an aim token. Now, an aim is two, precise one is one, they get to reroll the three dice. Now, in this case, they would only have 2.5 dice to reroll. I'm well aware that you can't reroll a half a dice, but it's just, we're just doing statistics here. We're not really, um, we're not doing variance, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a huge statistical dude. Um, I did do a bit of it at uni, but that was a long time ago. Um, anyway, we're just, as I said, we're just doing like averages. So they can reroll 2.5 dice, um, up to three. Um, in this case, they would get that number of attack and hits. Uh, it's 0.62 extra hits and 0.31 extra crit. Fantastic mass. Um, so as a total, though, um, that would be 1.62 damage uh, hit, sorry, and 0.81 crits. Cover would remove one hit if it's soft cover or light cover, I think. Um, they would then get that many block dice, 1.4. Um, that's 0.47 blocked. And it basically equals one dead. <laughs> it's like near enough one. Um, that's with aim and light cover. It's just interesting that aim and light cover is essential to essentially the same as no aim and no light cover. And so I thought that was interesting. Now, if they had aim and no cover, so it's pretty much the exact same up until here, the only thing um, they get is obviously one of the hits isn't removed, um, then that would result in 1.62 dead, um, which is, you know, a fair chunk difference. So the cover, um, quite important. If you, I think we can see the. Now, there's so many other examples that I could do. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to make the video ridiculously long. But um, I made this for myself. <laughs> I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you're interested in it, then fair enough. If you're not, then I'm sorry. Um, I'll be doing more normal stuff soon. <laughs> um, other than that, guys. Um, oh, wait, shall we go back to full screen? I will be making this link available in the description below. <laughs> Uh, other than that, guys, do have a beautiful day, and um, goodbye, like, subscribe, bye. <laughs> bye.